everyone, my name is Anna Ng, the Socks inaugural poet laureate. I have authored five poetry collections, and my poems and the translations have appeared at the ARC Poetry, the New York Times, CBC Radio, China Daily, and the World Journals. I also won several awards at each Poetry Alive workshop at schools, the college, and the libraries. And uh, today I wanted to introduce my sixth book, Mirrors and Windows, a collection of translations. I'm glad Guinica Editions will publish the book in 2021 October. Guinica Editions has 40 years publishing history in Canada. So I am very happy and uh, I'm looking forward to the book. Some people ask me, why mirrors and windows? Well, for me, poems are like mirrors and windows. When I do translation, I find the same. For mirrors and windows, I also wrote an opening poem. Here, I want to share with you. Mirrors and windows. On this mirror, I draw a heart in subtle red, ripe with the paradise fruits. Our dream rises with their light. Follow me and enter the deep, dazzling dark. In each bloom, we find the eye sees through windows. And I also want to thank Greenica Editions designed this beautiful book cover, Mirrors and Windows. Now I want to introduce contributors for the book. There are total 56 parts. They are divided into three parts. The first part of contributors are from Canada. There are 24 excellent English language poets. I listed their names on the screen, include Governor General Award winners such as P.K. Page, Milt Alcon, George Elliott Clark, and Richard Green. I met a lot of Canadian poets at the League of Canadian Poets conference meetings, poetry reading, poetry festival, uh, book launches, and uh, poetry workshops. I'm so glad also I organized Chinese and Canadian poets reading events with our national poet laureate, George Elliott Clark. And also, uh, I have my pre uh, I have my honor to be invited to read at a lot of other poetry events or festivals. So that's why you see a lot of photos with us together. And uh, I'm so happy. Later on, I translated. I have translated the poems and uh, put to this book, Mirrors and Windows. The second part of contributors are from USA and elsewhere. There are 12 exceptional English language poets. I listed their names on the screen as well. I met most of them at the 2016-2017 Westchester University Poetry Conference and uh, there are so many fine poets from USA and uh, elsewhere. I was lucky to win award to attend this poetry conference. And here I list Sir Angel Motion's poem and my translation, and also photo with him and Dana Joya. And I also translated three poems by Dana Joya and also other poems by uh, several other poets there. And uh, I am really glad for that and grateful for their kindness.
to give me the permission, and、uh, I have learned a lot from them and from the poetry conference. The third part of、uh, contributors are Chinese poets. There are twenty fine Chinese poets. I like the work very much, and I want to introduce their work、uh, to Western world. And so I translated the Chinese poems into English. Most of them I have never met, and only a few I met and have photo with them. So I put a photo here with them. Also, you can see on the screen. And also, the, in this book, they also have a special part, and is the part of my own poems in, in English and Chinese that I got inspired by doing translation. So I really hope you will enjoy. It. In 2020, I invited four poet laureates from this book: Molly Peacock, Al Morris, Alice Major, and George Elliot Clark, to discuss with me about poetry and translation. We had wonderful online events and that success. And today you can watch at YouTube for that. I also want to thank We Poetry. This year, 2021, the showcased are a selection of poems and my translations on We Poetry website, and they also gave wonderful feedback and comments. And I thank the editor Vivian for her wonderful review. And here is one of poems by Molly Peacock and my translation, as a sample. Now I want to thank Dana Joya for his、uh, kindness for me to include his three poems and my translation in mirrors and windows. So here, let us listen to his. Poem prayer. My first son died in infancy. This is one of the poems that I wrote in his memory. It's called Prayer. Echo of the clock tower, footstep in the alleyway, sweep of the wind sifting the leaves, jeweler of the spider web. Connoisseur of autumn's opulence, blade of lightning harvesting the sky, keeper of the small gate, choreographer of entrances and exits, midnight whisper, traveling the wires, seducer, healer, deity or thief, I will see you soon enough. In the shadow of the rainfall. In the brief violet darkening a sunset, but until then, I pray watch over him, as the mountain guards its covert oar, and the harsh falcon, its flightless young. Now I will read my Chinese translation for. His poem, prayer. 祷告，钟塔的回声，小巷的脚步声，风刷树叶的扫拂声，蜘蛛网的珠宝商，秋天风雨的行家，收割天空的闪电刀片，小门的守护者，出入口的编舞者。穿越电话线的午夜失语者，又或者治疗师、神灵或小偷，我会很快见到你，在雨落下的影子里，在紫罗兰暗淡日落的短暂时分，但在那之前，我祈祷
守护他，上高山守卫他，隐秘矿产和严厉的猎鹰，看负无往飞翔的智鹰。Now it's my honor to introduce our great modern Chinese poet Lo Fu. In 1954, he founded the Epoch Poetry Quarterly with Zhang Mo and Ya Xuan, and served as the chief editor for many years. Today, the magazine still exists, and Lo Fu also authored. Thirty-seven collections of poems. His work has have been translated into many languages. His masterpieces are "Death of the Stone Chamber," "The Wound of Time," "Drift Wood," and so on. And、uh, I'm so glad to have the permission from his wife to translate. His three three of his poems include include in mirrors and windows. Now let's hear Love's poem, because of the wind. Thank you. 然后以整扇的爱点燃一盏灯。我是火，随时可能熄灭，因为风的缘故。My translation for the poem, because of the wind. Yesterday, along the river bank, I strolled to the place where weeds bowed to drink water. Meanwhile, I asked the chimney to write a lengthy letter in the sky for me. The lines might seem blurred, but my heart. It's as bright as the candlelight by your window. It's slightly ambiguous, and inevitably so, because of the wind. It doesn't matter whether you understand the letter or not. 
What matters is to make sure, before the daisies haven't the holy wizard, you rush to be angry or laugh, rush to find my thing gone in the case, rush to the mirror to comb your black and soft tresses, then with your lifelong love, light the lamp. I'm a fire that might die at any time. Finally, for this short video, I want to say my thanks to all the contributors and Guinica editions, and I also want to thank George Elliot Clark for his preface for this book, and also thank many editors from other magazines to support my translations in the past. And also, I want to thank a lot of friends to support this book and project, and thank the League of Canadian Poets and Ontario Art Councils for the funding. Thank you.